Hi, so today I'm going to go over making a count table with feature counts. Alright, so we need three things to do this. We need the GTF annotation file, which I showed you how to download in the video where we built the star index. We need the BAM files from the samples that we aligned, and we need the actual feature count program. So feature counts is actually part of the subread conda package, so we'll just install this. So the actual process of running this is pretty straightforward and simple. We just do feature counts, we point to the annotation file, we point to an out file, we'll just call it counts.out. I'm going to add a couple of threads just to make it faster, so I'm going to add eight threads. And then we can point to the BAM files, which in this case are saved in this BAMs folder. And they're the only thing in there. But if you had other stuff, you could add a flag.bam and it should pick up only the BAM files. And this should only take a couple of minutes to run. It's pretty quick. Once it's finished, you should see this counts.out and this counts.out summary file. So here I've gone and opened it in Excel just to show what's going on. So for the simple differential expression analysis we're going to do, we don't need a lot of this. For example, we can get rid of this first row. We can get rid of all these columns. So it should just be the genes and then for each of your samples, it'll just be the name of the, of the BAM file or the path to the BAM file. So what you're going to want to do is probably rename every one of these columns to match the actual sample name. So it's not this big, ugly, long name. So you could have done the same thing here in Excel and then just save it as a CSV. Or you could have done it a number of different ways, including just dropping columns and renaming columns in R. So next time we'll open this up in R and use D2 to do some simple differential expression analysis.